Hey everyone, welcome to Nico's Kitchen once again. Today we're doing another request and it's a recipe that Graham from Graham and Friends sent me through the other day and he wanted me to give it a go, so we're going to. And if you're a bacon lover, you're going to love this bacon explosion. Alrighty guys, a bacon explosion. Okay, I tried this out yesterday and it was fantastic. You have to give this a go. Believe me, it's beautiful. Right, as always guys, the ingredients are that way on the side of the page. Check it out. Okay, but we're going to need some ground pork. Okay, just some ground pork. Uh, we're going to need some pretty thick slices of bacon. Just like that. All right, just some thick slices of bacon, some barbecue sauce. Uh, I've just got a made up my own sort of pork rub um, sort of thing. It's just some paprika. I've got some uh, some barbecue seasoning in there. I put a bit of Italian seasoning in there as well. But you can put any sort of seasoning on this. Uh, you know, whatever whatever floats your boat's good. And I've got some crispy bits of bacon that I've already fried off okay I've just done that beforehand and basically what we're gonna do guys is we're going to lay out the pork okay and we're going to roll we're gonna put the bacon chips in there we're gonna roll it up alrighty and we're gonna have all the rub all over the uh, the pork and then we're gonna do a lattice of bacon or a bacon weave alright and then we're gonna wrap this roll of pork around the bacon Okay, so it's just this bacon everywhere, just pork everywhere. It's absolutely great. And then we're going to baste it, uh, you know, with the barbecue sauce. Now, if you want to do this uh, in a Weber or a barbecue, go for it. I'm going to do it in the oven, okay, because the one I did yesterday, I did in the barbecue, and it was great. Um, the one I want to do today, I want to do in the oven to see how it goes, um, purely because... You know, if you've got a barbecue, you can go and do it. But everyone's got an oven, so everyone can try this in the oven. But uh, if you've got a barbecue, by all means, do it the same way. Okay, guys, we've got our ground pork here. Now, what I want to do is just flatten this out, okay, just like that, because we're going to roll this, all right? So you want it pretty firm, okay? Just flatten it out there like that. And don't be stingy with the seasoning, guys. Okay, you want a lot of this on air. Alright, guys, what I want to do now is just put on my bacon pieces, okay? Now, I've made these really crispy. Um, because when we roll it up, the texture is just absolutely beautiful. You know, when you're biting into this soft, moist pork, and then you're getting these crunchy bits of bacon, and of course the uh, the bacon on the outside, which will almost be like a bark, like a bacon bark. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Because I just want to give this a bit of a just a bit of a brush with the barbecue sauce as well. Okay, and then you just want to roll it up. Now guys, we could stop right there and cook this the way it is, but uh-uh, we ain't finished with this bad boy yet. Alrighty guys, we're going to do our bacon weave now, okay? Now this is the probably the most complicated part of the dish, but it, it looks complicated, but it's not. It's dead easy, okay? So what I want you to do is just line some bacon, okay? And then what we're going to do, we're going to get a piece of bacon, and we're going to put it in the middle just like that okay and we're going to pull the bacon down like that okay so you can see I've left two there so we've gone pull that one down miss pull miss pull alright and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another piece of bacon okay and then I'm going to put that one back that one back and then that one back 
Alright? Now for the next step, I'm going to pull these two forward. Okay? So we've gone odds and then even. Okay? I'm going to get another piece of bacon, like that, and put that back. So you can see here we've got this lattice happening. Okay, now once we get to the end, then we'll do this end here. Have a look at that guys, that is a bacon weave. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is roll it. Okay, so just grab the bacon at the front and just very tightly turn it over. Okay, all the bacon will stick together. Okay, just pull it towards you and just keep rolling it. Alrighty guys, you can see the bacon wrapped around this bad boy pork roll. It looks fantastic. Now I'm going to whack this in the oven. Uh, I've just got a baking tray like this. I'll show you. Okay, it's just going in here like that. And uh, I'm going to put it in at about 220 degrees C. And I'm going to leave it in there for about an hour and a quarter. Now what I'm going to do is just before I put it in, I'm going to baste it. Okay just like that with some more of that barbecue sauce okay and I want you to keep basting it about every 20 minutes of the cooking time and boy oh boy I cannot wait till this guy's done alrighty guys we've pulled out our bacon explosion and have a look at that just have a look at this bacon bark we've got on the top here it is smelling fantastic, let me tell you. Right, we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to carve this bad boy up. Oh man. Words escape me, guys, so uh, how about we just do this? this a go it is an absolute must okay like I said you can put it in the oven you can barbecue it if you were gonna barbecue it you'd probably do it for a bit longer um, I mean I did mine for just over an hour okay um, but if you're gonna do it in the barbecue or a Weber you probably do it for or about three hours I suppose right guys give this a go it's fantastic all the ingredients are on the side of the page, like I said, you take care, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>